All right, Shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites coming that weekend. We Cal Prophet signing down for America and society. Starting off, I want to give all praise, our honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, El Shabbat, Hashem, Hakurash. Yahweh is the truly powerful name with a real ignorant cause. God of Jehovah, Yahweh, Shabbat, the truly powerful name with a real ignorant cause. Jesus, by Hashem, he's in the name of Hakurash, Holy Spirit, leading each other to the Spirit Holy. When you get done, honest to my elders and apostles, great millstone, who rule well and teach well and be in great example to us younger brothers. And peace and best to the full leg, low and part of the number. I'm the brother Kodar from the GMS branch Chicago. Come back another video. Uh, I'm going to tie this video how um, New Year is in, in January, man. Because, um, you, know, you know, what they call nature itself will tell you when it's the New Year, man. You know? Meaning when everything is reborn, man. All right? And I, I'm going to just read this. Because, you know, I searched it up. When was the New Year changed to January? Because I seen this last year. And it says changes of 1752. The Julian calendar was replaced by the Gregorian calendar, changing the formula formula for calculating leap years, you know, which isn't even in the scriptures, man. All right, they, they got daylight saving. Uh, they got uh, where they add and remove time. All right, they got leap years every four years, I believe, man. That, that's that's completely wicked, man. All right, the scriptures say Esau, Esau um, going to change the times. The beginning of the legal new year moved from March, okay? Why is it March? Because that's, you know, that's the beginning of spring, all right? And, you know, that's what, that's, that's the, the, um, the month that the Lord was born in, man, all right? Because he was born in the Passover. That's the, that's the beginning of spring, March, man, all right? Hey, going into that, uh, December 25th bullshit, hey, that's Nimrod's birthday, man. You know, when it goes to Saturnalia, all right? It's talking about the shepherd in the field when the Lord was born, Yahweh Shai, all right? They not going to be there in the smack dead winter, man. All right? The ships can get sick and die, man. All right? And the Lord's born on the Passover, which is in March. You know, the beginning of spring. So that completely cuts that uh, um, that Christmas birthday bullshit, man. All right? Yeah, let's keep going. The beginning of the legal New Year moved from March 25th to January 1st. Finally, 11 days were dropped from the month of September 1752, man. All right? Change times is in Daniel, Daniel, Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. He shall wear out the safe to the Most High. All right. And to, and to think to change times and laws, man. They shall be given to his hand until a time and times and a dividing of, of time, man. All right. Hey, and he named it all his days. You know, the Gregorian calendar that was made by the Romans, man. You know. He, he changed, you know, you got uh, January, which is the god of Janus, re which represents the past and the future. All right, you got uh, Saturn, Saturday, which is Saturn worship, man. You got Sunday, which is sun worship. All right, the Lord's day is not on Sunday, man. All right, it's, it's, it's a, uh, the Sabbath is um, according to the moon, all right, in which we are in the Sabbath right now. Because um, it's Sunday sundown. All right, uh. It says Janus, Romans dedicated New Year's Day to Janus, God of beginning and transition. Janus was actually depicted with two heads, one that's looking at the past, the other to the future, which they get this from the Romans, which, I mean, the Greeks, which get this from the Egyptians, you know. It says, um, this is not the New Year, January, this is the New Year, right? Because when everything is being reborn, man, all right? Hey, and plus, the, the, the word, um, the, the word November, you know, goes into you know the word um, October goes to octagon, which means eight. And October is the is the tenth um, month, man. So it doesn't make no sense. September it means seven, seven. All right. December means ten, but it's not the decagon. All right, but it's not the tenth month, man. And you know, speaking about that, let's get it. It says there is eight September seventh, October eighth, November ninth. December 10th. So if December was the 10th month, let's continue. January, February, March. All right? Month of New Year's beginning. It says, evening and morning, this makes a day. January 1st is the worship of two-head sun god Janus. Passover is the beginning of the, the year, Exodus 12 and 2, which I was planning on getting that. All right? It says, um, it says, winter does not start the new year. Spring does. All right? And that's true, because all the plants are being born. All right? All the animals are, um, all the plants are regrowing, all the trees are regrowing, all the animals are being born again. All right, and that smack dead of winter, everything is dead, man. All right, the animals are hibernating, the trees are dead, the grass is dead. All right, just like how they say midnight is the start of a new day, that's a fucking lie, man. All right, and the new day doesn't start at twelve o'clock at night, man. 
How the fuck is it a new day in the middle of the night? In the middle of the night, man. All right, make it make sense. All right, the day finishes when the sun when the uh, sun goes down, man. The Lord said in Genesis, He created a great light to rule the day and a, and a um, and a light to rule the night, man. All right. And 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 you know you will know you can tell the time from the sun, man. The angle that the sun is at. All right, because it goes you know around. All right, hey, you know I used to know how to do that as a, as a, um. When I was younger, because I was taught it, but I forgot how to do it now, man. But you can see that at the certain angle that the sun is is, you can tell if it's 3 or 5 o'clock, you know, and et cetera, man. All right. Um, it said, damn, sir, if you had no clock to look at the, look, how would you know when 12 a.m. was? You know, because that, <laughs> hey, it, it's, it's fucking foggy, man. All right. Exodus. Exodus 12 and 2. The month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Okay? It shall be the first one. It shall be the first month of the year to you, man. All right? Uh, now, let's get that. It's lock here. This day came he out in a month of a bib. Now, let's get Exodus 13 and 4. Let's get that. 13 and 4. Let's get that word a bit. Okay. Damn. All right. And the Hebrew word is abiyab. All right. Abiyab. It says, um, fresh young barley, ears barley, month of ear forming, of greening, of crops, of growing green, a bit, month of exodus, it Passover, man. All right. You know, I just want to make that quick video, man. Hopefully, it was edifying. Um, and give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shabbat Shalom, and the Baba Ball.